Hey guys, how are you doing today? Are you ready for drawing time? Awesome. Alrighty, all week we're drawing creatures that you would find in the jungle. Ooh, that'll be exciting. I was trying to figure out what, what should we draw today? Do you guys think you have an idea of maybe something we should draw? What is that? Oh my goodness. I'm Miss Snake. It's Mrs. Snake. Hi, Miss Snake. How are you? I'm excellent. <laughs> I guess she's excellent today. Mrs. Snake, I was trying to figure out what we should draw today. Do you have any ideas? Yes. You should draw a snake. Oh, I, I think that's a really great idea. Let's draw a snake, Mrs. Snake. Thank you. Alrighty. I think she can maybe sit right up here and she can watch us draw our snake today. In the jungle, you get all sorts of snakes. Some of them are really little, some of them are really big, but a lot of them like to sit in trees. So we're gonna draw a snake sitting in a tree today. Go ahead and get in your drawing hat. You always, always wanna wear your drawing hat when you're doing art. We're gonna do this drawing in four parts. We're gonna draw it with our pencil first, then we're gonna go back with our black marker and draw back over the pencil lines. Then we're gonna get our colors out and color it all in. And then we're gonna keep our colors out and color more. <laughs> all right, you ready? Here we go. All right, so to draw our snake, let's figure this out. I'm going to kind of draw the tree first. So I'm gonna have this uh, tree trunk go all the way up. And this is just the side of the tree trunk here. And then I'm gonna draw a nice big branch that kind of comes out and maybe it kind of curves up and then it's gonna come back down. If your tree branch doesn't look like this, that's okay. As long as it's kind of a tree trunk with something sticking out to the side, that'll be fine. You can even draw a few things with some leaves on them. That'll be good. All right, now we have our tree branch so we know what the snake is gonna be sitting on. So now is the fun part. We get to just draw the snake on the tree. All right, so I'm gonna start here and kind of draw a curvy line that comes up and then I'm gonna make it stop when it gets to the bottom of the branch. Then I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna kinda come over here to the side of it. I'm gonna follow that line back and bring it all the way back so it connects at the end there. Nice, so that's one part of the snake. Now I'm gonna draw another part. It's gonna kind of start up here and go down and up over the branch. All right, let's do that. And this time I'm, not, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start on this end here. I'm gonna bring it down and then back up and I'm just gonna kind of let it run into the tree branch right there. All right, we've drawn kind of the basic part of our snake. Now we need to draw the head. The head for snakes are just kind of triangles, I found at least. That's what I draw my snakes like, so I'm just gonna put a triangle here. <laughs> and now we get to go back and kind of make it fit together a little better. First of all, this is bothering me. I've got to clear this up here. I'm gonna erase these two lines right here because we're not gonna have them anymore because that's the tree branch. And then I'm gonna erase this line right here. There we go. Now it looks like our snake is climbing over our tree branch. Now let's make this kind of a little bit rounder here. Kind of make it fit with the, the neck there. You can make that neck a little bit wider down here if you want. Very nice. Okay, then let's add a little bit of an eye. An eye is gonna be just kind of a little dot there and maybe a nose and maybe there's a smile and a tongue sticking out. Did you know snakes have tongues? Let's see, Mrs. Snake, can you show us your tongue? Yes, I can. Oh, here's her tongue. See how it kind of sticks out like that? Thank you, Mrs. Snake. <laughs> All right, we're gonna draw a tongue that comes out and then it's gonna have another little line. There we go. Okay, great. Now we have to add a few little details to our snake. You see how Mrs. Snake, I keep bringing her out, I hope she doesn't mind, she has all these crazy designs. She even has some guitars on her head. That's kind of crazy. Um, but other snakes have other designs. Some of them have polka dots. Some of them have stripes. Some of them have diamonds. So I'm going to draw, I'm going to draw some triangles because this is kind of part of the diamond that would, we'd see on the back of a snake. If you think of another design that you want to put on your snake, that's fine. You don't have to do this, whatever you want. And then I'm gonna draw a line that kind of follows this line right here. It's gonna follow it all the way up and around. 
And then again, right here, it's gonna follow it all the way down, all the way back to the end of the tail. And right here, I'm gonna put some little dash lines. That's gonna be our, the belly of our snake. Okay, there we go. Now let's erase this little top of this triangle. That was bothering me too. <laughs> and this little line right here. And we've drawn our snake, guys. Yikes. Okay, that was part one. You finished it. High five. All right, now part two. Get out your black markers. And we're going to go back and draw over the pencil lines that we drew. And then when the black marker lines dry, you're going to go back and erase the pencil lines that are still hiding underneath. Okay, ready? Here we go. Guys, high five! You just finished part two. Looks really good. All right, so our snake is all drawn and all inked in. And if you want to stop here, this is a great place to stop. But if you want to keep going, let's go into part three. All right, so for part three, get out your colors. We're going to be coloring in our snake. So let's see. Should we color the tree first or the snake first? What do you think? Mm, let's color the snake first. OK, so the snake. All right, snakes come in all sorts of colors. As you can see from Mrs. Snake, she is purple and pink. She has a pink belly and a purple top. But I think for our snake today, or at least my snake, I'm gonna color it in green. So I'm gonna get out my green. I'm gonna sharpen it because I've been coloring with my green a lot lately. And I'm gonna color the top part of my snake green. So I'm not gonna color the bottom here. That's gonna be a different color, but the top part is gonna be green. And I'm also not coloring the triangles because those are gonna be a different color too. Alrighty. Nice. And then the bottom of our snake. A lot of times snakes have a lighter color for the bottom. So I'm going to do a yellow. I'm going to use a really bright yellow and color the bottom yellow. Awesome. Looking good. And then the triangles. For those, I was thinking orange might look kind of neat, but you could try other things. You could do red, you could do blue, purple rainbow <laughs> be crazy have you ever seen a rainbow snake i haven't seen one i'm gonna do orange today though all righty there's our snake colored in nice all right now the last thing we got to do is color in that tree there so sharpen your brown you're gonna be needing it i'm just gonna color the tree in brown and because there's a lot of tree to color i'm just kind of going fast i'm going up and down like this and I'm not worrying too much if I miss a few white spots because I can also go back and color the other way and that'll help to catch any white spots I might have missed. Sometimes I just like to color fast because it makes it more fun. If I'm ever coloring too fast for you though, you can always pause the video and color and take some time if you want to and then come back and watch some more when you're ready. Okay, nice. And our snake and tree is done. I'm gonna add, yeah, I'm gonna color that one in brown, this in brown. Add a little bit of green for those leaves there. And there we go, all done. Nice job, guys. You just finished part three. It looks great. Now, if you wanna stop here, this is a good place to stop too. But if you wanna keep going for one more part, keep your colors out. We're gonna go over one more part. For this one, we're gonna add a little bit of dark spots to our snake. So we're gonna, I'm gonna take a darker yellow. See how this one is kind of, whoop, there goes my yellow. Well, this one is kind of a darker yellow than that one. And so I'm going to use that and color it on the bottom right here, just to give it a little bit more shadow. Maybe I'll do the same thing with the tree. Maybe I'll color a little bit darker with my brown at the, the bottom part of the branch and kind of bring it a little bit darker around here and maybe on the sides of the tree. Sometimes trees have lines on them. You can do that just by pushing down really hard with your pencil. That'll add some lines there. 
Nice. And I can add a little bit of a little bit of dark green here. Maybe I'll do some dark green on the top of the snake this time. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Not too crazy. Nice. Okay, and then where is our snake? Our snake's in the jungle, remember? And in the jungle, there's lots of plants. There's tons of plants in the jungle, and a lot of them are green. <laughs> and sometimes there's light that's coming into the jungle. And when the light comes in, it makes all the green plants kind of look, oops, it makes the green plants kind of look yellowy green, kind of like the green that you'd find on the line. So I'm gonna take my yellowy green and I'm gonna color just lightly in the whole background first. I'm just going really fast, going up and down, up and down. And that'll give us a nice base background. You can go the other way too if you want. Okay, my pencil's about out. It's telling me, stop coloring yellow green. Okay, pencil. All right, so that's our background. And then there's also lots of trees in the jungle, just like this one. So I'm gonna draw kind of some pointy triangles that are a little bit bendy, maybe. They're kind of bent and tall triangles. And I'm just gonna draw them kind of all over the place. Maybe there's one right here. You can draw them bigger or smaller. If you draw them smaller and a little bit higher on the page, they'll look like they're farther back in the background. And this is just to show people, hey, there's other trees here in the jungle. And then we gotta draw the tree tops. And the tree tops are gonna be kind of, kind of a dark green color. I'm just gonna kind of scribble some shapes on there just to show people that there's a tree top. Maybe there's even some crazy looking plants down here, who knows? I'm just gonna kind of draw some scribbly lines down here. Any, any shape you do is really gonna look good. <laughs> and then the last thing that I think is really cool about the jungle, so they have all these vines that hang from the trees and they kind of swoop down like this. Swoopy vines, they kind of look like smiley faces that you're drawing all over the place. So you can draw some swoopy vines and I'd say we're just about done with our drawing there, guys. Wow, it looks really good. And that looks like a nice kind of friendly snake. Well, the last part of our drawing is to sign it. So go ahead and take your marker out. And signing, putting your signature, just means you're writing your name in the bottom corner and kind of writing it in a fancy way or a fun way. So everyone knows this is who drew the beautiful drawing. Wow, guys, well, this looks great. Thanks for joining me for drawing today. Please send me a picture of your drawing and write me a note and tell me what we should draw next. Maybe it's another animal that you'd find in the jungle. If you want to figure out how to get in touch with us, you can look in the description of the video. All right, guys, well, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time for more drawing. Bye.